Hey guys, uh, just a update because I haven't updated in a while. I've finally got a new version of the uh, roll stage working. Um, this is the first complete prototype. Uh, the big thing that's changed is that these pieces here are now separate. So these modules can be swapped. Um, this one's a earlier design where I was using a different print setting and it cracked. But these can be swapped to either side, so you could do cams on both sides. Um, cams on both sides, I still have to figure out how to fit the sensor underneath, so that's TBD. Um, but for now, you know, normally you'd have cam on one side. And then the uh, difference with these guys, and this is a earlier version of it, is that the post can now extend all the way through the axis, so it doesn't sit on it anymore so that you can have um, a piece of extrusion sticking out at the bottom of the gimbal so that you could, you know, potentially link two gimbals together. That's also something for the future. Um, but I got the heaviest spring that I have on here. I had to clamp it down, but it's working. Same mechanism as before. Yeah. I have the option for the rotary damper can, that can sit there. Uh, well, it's obviously not screwed in that can dampen against that but as actually a more economical option is I have Teflon like PTFE gaskets like washers in there that act for damping so you can see if I put on the big heavy grip if I stick that on and I doesn't wobble anywhere as much as it used to and that's just from this just from the ptfe washer and then here is with the damper installed so much less vibration and oscillation now this grip is very much the worst case scenario because if i the, this thing is a beast. If I had a, a much more reasonable grip, let's say just a screwdriver on here. I oh, don't know, it's too big. <laughs> Need to go down a size. Screwdriver on here. Actually, let's grab this guy. So you have a very lightweight grip. Like there. Oh. But there's basically very little wobble. Of course, this is <laughs> very stiff, much much too stiff to actually fly with. But if you have a, a reasonable weight on here instead of these big um, monster grips, like this thing weighs like as much as four Thrustmaster Warthog grips um, on here, it, it'll probably be more, more than enough damping just to have um, the PTFE washer plus the rotary damper. But yeah, it definitely feels damp, but uh, damped. Anyway, I wanna give a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, you guys have been a big help. I mean, I've got, you know, um, filament to work with. I've been ordering hardware. I have electronics once I get to the, uh, the, the sensors for when I get to that step. So things are coming along. Uh, I hope to work on uh, the pitch stage in the next couple of weeks um, and have the whole base structure to have it um, like the box. Because while I liked this setup of like 3D printing like a, a cut box, it's really not using the strengths of um, print, a printed design to build it this way. So I'm, I'm researching some alternatives about how to structure it. But I definitely need it to be very firm um, the entire uh, pitch mounting base because there is a lot of force at play here. Like I am, I don't know if you can see it, but I am moving the table, <laughs> pulling that stick. I want to give a huge shout out to your Siro Tanaka, Neil, Mark Ping, MK, and my Spiral Dive uh, Patreon supporters, Jay Waller and Gene Buckle. And Gene Buckle, if people aren't aware, he's the F-15 sim guy. In the world history of flight sim project taking up space in the garage, uh, Gene Buckle is the uh, GOAT, the greatest of all time, because he's a gentleman who many, many years ago acquired an entire F-15C uh, cockpit 
from, I believe it was a crash. It was a train crash and he, he got the wreck. So uh, it's really great to have him as a supporter. He's actually been a great help. We've been chatting quite a lot. And uh, at some point, I'm going to do a variation of uh, this gimbal with the uh, roll axis split kind of modeled more like an F-15, F-18 style uh, control stick. And hopefully, um, once he gets his uh, cockpit further along, he might uh, install it in his. 